scary start to the day for the Jewish community in Boulder. Envelopes with a white powder mailed to both a synagogue and community center along with the powder, a threat. 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts live in Boulder. And Lindsay, even though the powder was nothing dangerous, investigators taking this very seriously. And in Eric, the FBI is now leading this investigation. So whoever did this could be facing federal charges. That's even though at least the community center tells us what it got in the mail was only cornstarch. These threats coming at a sacred time for the Jewish community. In the middle of Passover, tense moments and evacuations after threats in the mail to a Jewish community center and synagogue. If anything, it's a reminder to us that our people has uh, survived experiences far worse than envelopes with unusual substances in them. The substances brought out hazmat crews and even caused a bomb scare at the community center. We did a secondary search while we were down there and found a couple of packages that were deemed suspicious. They turned out not to be suspicious after all, but every precaution was taken, especially because along with white powder sent to the JCC, there was a note reading, your have enemies. Poor grammar, but clearly a threat. Immediately after we found out the powder in that envelope wasn't dangerous, the Har Hashem synagogue evacuated after realizing it got a similar piece of mail. All I would have to say to the person is, regardless of what was going through your mind when you sent this, we are in the midst of a sacred celebration and we're going to be continuing to, to celebrate that uh, with our families and communities. Meanwhile, investigators will keep searching for who did this. A return address on one of the envelopes was a dead end. There's printing that can be done, fingerprinting and or DNA work to try to figure out where it came from. The community center closed for the day after the scare, but I'm told it will be open as usual tomorrow. The synagogue quickly resumed its usual activities after investigators left today. We're live in Boulder, Lindsay Watts, 7 News.